hi everybody um happy new year it's the uh, second week of uh, january and as you've probably guessed i'm uh, back home in england but i thought i would uh, come out and do a bit of filming and it uh, gave me the opportunity to wish you all a happy and healthy 2024 i hope it started well for you um, I'm, I'm changing the formats <coughs> slightly of the uh, videos at the beginning and the end and uh, trying to get away from the uh, time lapse the speeded up parts as much as I can there'll always be a little bit there otherwise uh, the jobs would be too boring so uh, yeah I uh, hope you like uh, the new format um, maybe not even notice that much but uh, yeah I think it's new year time for a new uh, video style so I'm out here and uh, just going for a walk not the nicest of days uh, not too warm but from what I understand it's absolutely freezing in France so probably the best place for me I'm going back uh, hopefully by the end of Feb early March there's about four of us going out in March off and on all at different times I'll be there all the time obviously but uh, yeah, big push this year to get the kitchen, the ensuite, the landing and hallway all finished. So the house is uh, getting close to completion. But anyway, big thank you to everybody um, who has sent in uh, some type of a donation. Uh, it really is useful. Um, we buy in all types of things, especially for the new fire, which you'll see uh, how much work goes into that over the next couple of weeks. But also. Uh, for the people who uh, have just subscribed, it's quite a few of you. We're getting close to 12,000 uh, subscribers now, and I'm hoping that when we get there, I can do some sort of giveaway. Not sure what it will be. If you have any ideas what would be interesting, and uh, just put them in the comments below. But yeah, going for a walk and uh, getting some fresh air, clears the head a bit, and uh, I hope you enjoy the vid. If you do, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, press that like button and leave us a comment it all helps with the algorithms for youtube so uh, yeah if you can do that for us that would be great okay everybody well have a good week enjoy the video and uh, talk to you later cheers
More progress so uh, yeah I'm really pleased how this has come out uh, I think when the whole of the kitchen or most of the kitchen is done like this it's going to look uh, really really nice uh, obviously the wall well the two walls around where the uh, ovens going to be and the sink are not going to be panelled like this um, because of uh, splashbacks and uh, whatever you but anyway yeah I'm really pleased with the way uh, this has come out so uh, it's a lot of faffing around, you know, nothing's exactly the same, so these are all slightly different, sometimes by an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch, but you want to get them as close as possible, just to get a nice flush finish, and any little gaps, then there's not many, uh, I'll fill with some uh, decorator's cork uh, later on before painting. So uh, yeah, good way to spend a Sunday morning, and it's a really nice day today as well, it's a bit more shining. So uh, that's it, on with the next one. Catch you in a while, cheers.
telescope to see if it's possible for me to uh, install this fire. All I'm going to do uh, today is um, pull it out and I need to reverse the collar that's on the back. Whoever had this before me uh, had the flue coming out the back. I need it to come out of the top to go straight up the chimney. So first job is to see if I can remove the collar from the back and place it on the front. Uh, I don't think it's been moved for many years. I put some WD-40 on it earlier in the hope that it will lubricate the, uh, the nuts and bolts in there, the screws, and uh, it will come out. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pull it out onto the floor, get a light in there, and then see if I can uh, get those off first. A bit of priced up a chimney. I'm gonna have a solid chimney going all the way up, well, a solid one, a, a metal one. There is a blockage up there, and I think it's a pipe that came off the old flue and went into the bedroom to heat it, which has now been blocked off. Um, so I will have to try and remove that. I'm gonna see if the chimney needs sweeping, it probably does. But uh, yeah, first job is to try and remove the collars and uh, put them on the top here. This is going to be impossible to film inside. So uh, I'll come back to you in a while if I've had any success or not. Okay, wish me luck. weighs a ton. <clears throat> I have checked these out and apparently are quite good uh, log burners. Uh, this one is a nine kilowatt one. They still, but if you still make it, we can still get all the parts for it and you can get the manual for it and everything. I bought this off a guy locally. Um, so, you know, it seems like it does the job well and I can just get it to work. Let's see if we have any luck with these nuts and bolts. So this is what I'm trying to remove here. Uh, there's four screws or whatever here and two bolts. Then this whole section comes out and then it can be put on the top. And that is what the chimney uh, will attach to, or the flue. So uh, yeah, as I say, almost impossible to video. So uh, I'll let you know if I have any luck. So the first problem is the uh, rod that holds the door on at the top <coughs> has sheared off. Um, this, this bracket here can be undone from behind. I think I would need a socket set for that. Um, how I'll get that out, <coughs> I don't know. Uh, probably I would have to take it off and work at it that way. As I say, there's always one thing goes wrong, at least. I'm sure that won't be the last. 